Hey everybody, Charlie Rider 2 here and welcome back to Elden Ring. When we last left off, we completed what I think is the tutorial. We've died once to the uh, spider-like mannequin boss at the very beginning. Um, I think you could probably beat that, but it seemed like it killed us without registering a hit. Maybe it just triggered a cutscene is what it looked like. Then the screen went black for a while, but anyway... Here we are. We've got flasks of crimson tears and cerulean tears. We've got a couple spells. We've got a sword and a staff. We are ready to explore Elden Ring. And here we are at the Site of Grace, right? These are what these are called? Lost Grace discovered. Lost Grace. We can rest. How do we spend our currency? I don't rightly know. So we're just gonna heal for now. Can we go through here? What What is this? In Dark Souls 3, this was kinda like when an area hadn't loaded yet, but this looks like something else. What is this? Why is it always missed? Let there be an open area. Okay, so it does stay missed. Here's an item. What do we get? You, sir, look charred? Cooperative multiplayer. Use tarnished, furled finger to write a gold summon sign. Oh, jolly cooperation right off the beginning. Cooperative multiplayer will begin once you have been summoned by a player from another world. You will take the role of an ally, a furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. The compass at the top of the screen indicates the direction of the summoner, host of fingers. We will be doing some of this. Not yet, but we will. Finger Severer. Tarnished Furled Fingers. Finger Severer. So do we collect fingers from bodies? Certainly what it sounds like. What is this thing? Creepy. All right, shields up. What's this? Night ahead. Try lever. I, mean, I would like to. Can I? I don't think I can. All I can do is read message. That looks like the disc that you step on right after you beat a K lag or Quee lag in Dark Souls 1. Well, you don't step on it right after you beat her, it, it rises up from. Uh, Ah, uh, what's the name of the area where you fight the chaos demons at? And you come up here. All right, so let's continue on. Is there anything to go to here? I guess I have to step on this. Hold the shield. Big Gandalf vibes, I know. I was going for more like mysterious old man vibes, but you know, it, we're, we got off now, I guess. I'm assuming you can only operate these if the elevator is down. Let's try that. Is it down? Looks like it. Yes, okay. Just trying to get used to the mechanics of this world. Let's open this huge metal door that apparently is counterweighted. We can just lift up. And is this it? Are we free? It looks like it. Oh my, where do we go? What do we do? There's going to be so many things to fight, so many things to do. Before we go around too much, I want to see what this guy here is. He, he looks like he's going to talk to us. Oh, that's an old lady. I'm sorry. Let's touch his grace. What's said at it? Grace exists to guide the tarnish and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Their golden rays will guide you along your way. So they'll kind of show you where to go. Wants us to go to that church over there? There's a huge dude on a horse down there. 
Use your map to check your current position as well as the terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments as steles along the road. You can also use the map to freely place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Cool. Who are you? Maybe you're not a lady. Maybe you are a dude. Is that a mask? Hold on. Yeah, that's a mask. Oh, yes. Tarnished, are we? Yes. Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring? Hmm? Of course you have. No shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. All right, we're going to adjust the volume here. He seemed a little low to me. So let's go to... We're going to turn the master volume up. Leave that at 10. We're going to bring him up to like 9. Sound effects are good. Music is good. All right, let's try that. Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, the path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Okay, we're gonna bump him up one more. We're gonna take voice to 10. The music and sound effects at five. Let's talk to him one more time. I love his voice actor. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff, the home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Right up there. So, in games like this, Open world games, Skyrim, Witcher, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Assassin's Creed series, GTA, any of those, Fallout series, Outer Worlds, I typically don't want to follow the story path. I want to go and like find areas I'm not supposed to be in, try to find items that are overpowered, and just kind of generally explore. However, he said I don't have a maiden yet. And he said the answer to that is this direction. Or at least that's what I understood. So I feel like we should follow the main story path until we can at least level up. Look at this guy. That is an absolute beast right there. I'm sure we don't want to attack him yet. Though we may be able to cheese him by like shooting him from up high. Who knows. Let's talk to him again. It's time you set off, I should think, to Castle Stormvale on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are, it's time you set to castles. If you seek the Elden. Okay, so yeah, it seems like we're strongly encouraged to follow that path so that we can find a maiden. Maiden, if I can say the word properly so that we can level up. Now, with that said, is that an eagle? What is that? I'm already sidetracked by shinies. Eagle? Okay. Did you drop something? Flight pinion. Okay, got three of them. I'm assuming to craft arrows. Try lights. Oh, look, you can just go. 
Oh, this is... Look at the ships over... This is gonna be so fun. Okay. I'm overwhelmed by choice right now. I want to kill another one of these eagles and get some flight pinions. I don't know why. We're going to look at the item description here in just a second. But I really see no reason not to get uh, crafting materials. We may need them for something. All right, we didn't get anything for that one. There are some creatures on the ground here. They look like squirrels or rabbit kangaroo squirrels. Something to harvest here. Arteria leaf. Thin beast bones. I almost feel like this is what the grand design of... Whoa. You just kicked a rock. Are these ore that we can pick up, or...? stuff to kick. I almost feel like this is what the grand design of like the original Demon Souls was meant to be, but they were limited by system limitations, so they couldn't make it open world. Now we can finally do that. Ah, oh, this looks great. What is that? Mushroom? What is this? It is a skeleton head with glowy eyes. What are we meant to do with that information? Can we kill two, or does that stop at the one? It stops at the one, but we can get some pinions. All right, we're going to go ahead and read these item descriptions. This is the wrong button. Here we go. Inventory. All right, so we're going to read Finger Severer. Item for online play. Use as a host of fingers to select a summoned player and send them back to their world. Okay, so that's like the... Uh, Banishment Crystal, I think it was called. Use when you have been summoned to another player's world to return to your own world. Alright, so you sever the connection with another player. This phantom blade ser severs a link formed by a furled finger, but the maiden scorn those who abuse its use. Furled finger. Creates a summon sign for cooperative multiplayer. Arrive as a cooperator, furled finger, with the objective of defeating the area boss of the world to which we are summoned. Finger of corpse wax, furled like a hook. It's a relic of those who came before, left to help those who would come after. All right. Crafting materials. Whole new page. Flight feather of birds. Material used for crafting items commonly used for arrow fletchings. Okay. Thin hard beast bones. Material used for crafting items found by hunting beasts. Commonly used to make disposable weapons. Throwing knives and such. Dark red leaves with thick swollen veins. Material used for crafting items exceedingly rare to find. So this is our Nern root, huh? Faint pulse can be felt in the vein, stirs the blood, providing an enlivening effect. So that may be a buff. Berry-like red fruits that grow in shrubs, material used for crafting items, easily found everywhere in the lands between. It has a wide variety of uses. Do we have anything else? Does not appear so. And these are the tutorials. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm loving what I'm seeing so far. Those are creepy. Look like gargoyles or imps of some sort. We can target it. Can we reach it? Just missed it. Cannot reach it. Okay. We're going to go set and get our FP back. I don't know what to do with this. I feel like that should be something, but as of right now, it's not. Here are some berries. Grab those. What is this? Summoning pools. In each area, you may find effigies of martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players at these locations as co-op and hostile summoning signs created with small effigies gather at summon pools. And we got a small golden effigy. It does not pause when we bring up the inventory. Okay. So, inventory, small golden effigy. Sends a cooperative summon sign to several nearby summoning pools. Activated pools only. 
In cooperative multiplayer, your objective will be to defeat the area boss. So this is how we pull people into our world, correct? Okay, got the effigy. Don't want to fight that dude yet. I'm sure that's there to summon people to fight that dude. There's the berries. I knew there were some berries we missed. Let's go ahead and grab those. Okay, got a lot of those. Keep forgetting to jump. Rest. Leave. All right, so we're going to this church. I wonder what fall damage is like. If we drop off here, no fall damage. That guy. Don't want to be seen by that guy. We have ambient music, too. That's not something I'm very used to in a Souls game, either. Ruin Fragment. Sorry, we gotta keep checking these items and see what they are. Used for crafting. Stone fragment found near places where ruins have fallen from the sky. From the sky. Can be used for crafting or simply for throwing at enemies. These shards of stone are believed to have once been part of a temple in the sky. They glow with a faint light from within. Temple in the sky. Are the uh, is this something I can grab? No. More ruined fragments. Look on the side here, make sure there's no enemies. Okay, since it's open world, I see more opportunities for deciding how to deal with enemies. Like that guy there, we're just going to completely avoid him for now. Not something you could easily do with the uh, earlier Souls games, because the levels were so curated. You know, unless you're an awesome speedrunner and just run past everything like it was nothing, but the average player, you generally had to deal with most enemies as you come upon them. Right, got more eagles. I want to check that out. But I want to be able to level up before we start really exploring. My other question is, during the night cycle, there are going to be more enemies to fight? Also, can we even get to where we want to be from over here? I don't think so. Maybe? We want to go to... It's like a church thing right over... I don't even remember where it was. I probably should have put a marker down. Alright, let's check this out, though. Remember, we can run. Okay, there is an enemy. Several, in fact. You guys look like basic enemies, right? Can I just go backstab you and then just chop up the others? Yeah, you guys aren't going to be bad. You don't even have a weapon. Oh, they're running. I probably shouldn't even attack them. As I murder them all. Okay. What'd you drop? Herba. Okay. What is an Herba? Let's look at it real quick. Inventory. Herba. Evergreen leaves that give off a faint light material used for crafting items. This very common medicinal plant can be found in thickets and elsewhere. Maybe... Poison resist our cure. Sorry about your luck. Vanishing, vanquishing enemy groups. Vanquishing an enemy group will replenish your flasks. The number and type of flasks to be replenished varies depending on the enemy group. You cannot replenish more flasks than your maximum. So you're encouraged to go in balls to the walls, use your flasks up, and then get replenished. Okay. Item here. 
There is a place to go in. I know I'm supposed to be doing the main story, but I'm just too curious now. Didn't expect underground tomb. Me neither. Open. Ooh. The lighting. That white flame. Oh, there's a, uh... There's a grace here. Okay. Well, let's, let's set. And let's continue. What do you have to say, good sir? A proper death means returning to the Erd Tree. Have patience until the time comes and the roots call to you. Are you saying I'm going to die? Group ahead. Enemy ahead. I see one over there. Okay, it's like a stone gargoyle. Throws a knife. Any more? Two of those would have been bad. Root resin. Times two. And there's a guy just sitting here. Let's look at the root resin inventory. Resin secreted from the roots of the great tree can be found near trees on the surface. Material used in crafting items. The roots of the great tree are once linked to those of the Erd tree, or so they say, and is for this reason catacombs are built around great tree roots. Makes sense. Okay. I imagine spells would probably be good against these enemies as they have stone skin, it looks like. Okay, we can call on someone to help us. Something here. Grave Glove Wart. I see one of those guys in the distance. Let's check this out. Inventory. Here. It's a bolstering material. Strengthen ashes to plus one. What are ashes? White flower that blooms in catacombs. Each a soundless bell used to summon spirit strengthens ashes, ashes to plus one. The art of strengthening ashes is known as spirit tuning. Only a spirit tuner may perform this deed. Okay, can we go in here? Looks like we can. Summoning pull is now functional. Okay, so we have to touch the summoning pull. I see the dude up top. I'm assuming there'll be some left and right as well. Look carefully. Let's go ahead and do this. Got two of them. No, just one. Takes two shots though. Any more? Yep, one up there. He took three shots. Maybe it's because he was aware of my presence. Let's look for more. There's going to be more. Okay. Grave Violet. Inventory. What is that? Crafting. Purple flower that blooms in graveyards. Material used for crafting. The hue of ghost flame. It's believed to be useful in calling forth spirits. Keep forgetting I can jump. Keep forgetting I can jump and attack, too. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Let's 
Grab another one of these. Continue on. Should we go check this door? Or is this like a return door? I bet it says it won't open. Yep. Locked by some contraption. So that's going to be the exit. That's our Skyrim door back out. I roll fast enough. I don't feel like I need to remove more gear. Let's look for traps to... Surprise attack ahead. Be wary of jump attack. I'm looking. I don't see anything in here. Be wary of up. Oh, I see you now. Ooh, you tackled us quite a bit. I didn't expect you to have that many swings. Where was that thing? I did not see that. Alright, so we're going to have to run to the right up there, which means we'll probably be running into an attack. Ah! Don't put more fire. Ah! Don't scare me, ghost. First off, fire. Ah, death. Let's look down this way. Can we run behind that? Um, maybe. We're gonna try it. I see a, a note to the side of it there. Okay. Prattling pate, hello. Oh, is this the very good? Try attacking. Oh. Thank you, message. You get an appraisal. Very good. Now that was from attacking. Can we just throw... Oh, that brings it back up? Can we shoot it with a bow and knock it down? Almost feel like we could. Alright, let's check out this prattling pate. Oh, he's already put on our bar? It's a voice that says hello. I did not hear it. Inventory. can't read the description on it, can I? Oh, no, I can't hear. Twisted clay sculpt in the shape of a human head emits a voice that says hello. A wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an internal journey. Eternal journey. Alright, so we're going to run to the right up here, and there's going to be somebody to attack us, isn't there? Well done. Oh, there's a guy back there. So I want to run and attack it and then run back. Okay. Glad there weren't any to the sides. I expected there to be totally. So we're going to bring this out. I'm going to attack you. You can cast those quite quickly. Watch this. I missed with two. Strength this. Switch out to this. All right. So I can cast them fast. It doesn't mean I need to. Wasted uh, two uses there. Got the healing flash. Tell you what, we're going to go ahead and use it since we're at half health. Ahead, ahead, therefore be wary of destruction. I don't see anybody else. Oh, I do. Let's go ahead and do this. We'll just 
just sort them. How do we two hand? Triangle used to do it. It doesn't seem to be doing it now. Alright, we've got enough endurance. We can put off quite a few attacks. Oh, there's another one. Okay. Alright, we got him. Woof! Let's go ahead and use our another flask. He must have been up there somewhere. I did not see that. What do we get? Smoldering butterfly. Times three. Let's go ahead and check out what those are. Material used for crafting. Eternally butter burning butterfly found near wildfires and elsewhere. Material used for crafting items serves as the kindling for a number of items. Kindling. All right, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and or a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.